Well, this weekend, 10 teams from Division II will compete for the Gymnastics State Championships. One of those squads, West Salem Co-op, is making their first appearance since 2012. News 8's Colin Talbert reports on their journey. They were in this spot before, sectional final Saturday, hoping to make it to the final weekend. We were determined we were going to state. You know, we went into that sectional going, okay, we got this. But for the West Salem Co-op gymnastics team, that great 2016 ended up just a little short. They announced us as third, and it was just that heartbreaking, heartbreaking. Seven tenths of a point away from state, but that fueled this group this season as they dominated meet after meet, and then Saturday came. This time, they found themselves on top of the podium. That was what we were working for this year, the whole entire season. We've been putting in 110% every single practice, every single meet. Ellie Tushumper personally exemplifies the attitude and hard work put forth by this team. Freshman year, she had the broken back. She was in the brack race. Sophomore year came in, was able to do everything. Dislocated her kneecap on floor. Done. Didn't make it to March. Tushumper entering her junior season coming off two major injuries. I just wanted to like give up when I found my, about my back. Like I didn't think it would be possible for me to come back. Then with my knee that happened, like I didn't want to go back to gymnastics again. But she stuck with it, pushing harder than ever, and it paid off. She qualified individually for the all-around and was sectional champion in the uneven bars. Everything that I've gone through, like it all paid off now. I actually like, got what I wanted to do, finally, after <laughs> Two years. Now to Shumper and West Salem go to Wisconsin Rapids this Friday ready for one last rotation. They're so excited. They're over the moon and so am I. And they deserve it. They deserve to just kind of relax and let loose and, you know, enjoy their last week as a team for this year. Reporting from West Salem, Colin Telbert, News 8 Sports. Thank you, Colin. Winona girls open up the playoffs. One seated Windhawks hosting Albert Lee. First possession of the game, pass inside Abby Winter, and she lays it in to nothing. Later in the half, Justine Schultz swings it and gets it right back and hits the three-pointer. 7-0, Winhawks. Next possession, Eden Nibbling sticks with the trend. Another three ball, number four in the state, Winona winning their postseason opener, 82-38.